Hey guys, what's up? Um, I thought I would do a quick update. It is day two post-op of my brachioplasty, arm lift, bra roll excision, and bilateral back lift. Um, so I just thought I would quickly tell you what's gone on from what I can remember over the past couple days. So surgery went good. We actually had the OR for five and a half hours, and it took under five and that also included doing like a minor revision to my tummy tuck scar as some of you guys might remember the left side um was like a little lower so we just went in there and like fixed that up but obviously no extra charge while we were in there um but he ended up uh i haven't had a chance to measure anything yet because i'm like plucky and stuff but when he drew on my skin, he removed three inches from each arm and like four inches from my sides. I haven't seen my sides yet. Um, I've seen my arms, I'll post some pictures up. But um, as you can see right now, they're in ace bandages. Um, and I have to keep them elevated. Otherwise my hands get super, super swollen and it's uncomfortable. And just like trying to hold my arms up, it like hurts this part of me. Um, so Jared has had to put my hair up for me, which was an adventure in itself. He's been really good because I can't like put on anything myself. My mobility is actually way more limited than I expected it to be. I thought this was going to be similar to the recovery for my breast lift, which was like real easy. Like I think I went to emo night like four days after I had my breast lift. So as you can imagine, um, like I was like ready to go after that. Um, this so far as compared to the breast lift and tummy tuck, I feel like has been the most difficult uh, recovery process so far. Like I've needed more help from Jared, I think, than I even needed for the tummy tuck. Um, Cause I could mostly like get around on my own, even if it was slow, but here I like can't, like I can't even pour my own water. I can't reach low, high, whatever. Like it's, it's way more limited than I expected it to be. Um, which is funny because I did so much research on real self and stuff. And a lot of people were like, oh yeah, I was back to like vacuuming the house three days later. And like, that was not going to happen um, in this situation. So yeah, I'm surprised at how much it hurts <laughs> and how much I can't do. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I started having an allergic reaction to the antibiotic that they put me on, the Cipro, which if you remember from my tummy tuck, they put me on Keflex last year, had a bad allergic reaction to that. So they switched me to Cipro which I was fine with, but for now, but this time for some reason, I'm not fine with it. So the doctor told me just to make sure I keep my like drain ports clean and I should be okay. Um, I've been drinking like 86 of these glasses of water. Can you hold this for a second? Um, and I have, ugh, sorry, I'm under all these pillows, but I do have drains in my arms um, so on each side uh, it doesn't produce nearly as much as the tummy tuck did um, and I had surgery on a Thursday and I'm getting these out Monday morning so it's definitely not as long as like a recovery process as the tummy tuck um, but yeah I'll post I only took like a few pictures because it hurts to hold my arms up um, and I can't even like put them all the way out or up or anything yet. Uh, but yeah, that's how it's going so far. Um, yeah. Anything for you, Nico? Oh, good. Did I forget anything? I thought I was only going to take the pain meds for like one or two days. Um, but I think I'm going to need them longer than that. Uh, especially if stuff continues the way it's been going. Um, also, 
I've not been wearing like any pants or underwear because I cannot pull it down myself to go to the bathroom. So I've mostly just been wearing like a really big oversized shirt and a bare butt. So when I have to pee, I don't need like Jared pulling my pants down every time. This is like a whole new level of our relationship as well because since I didn't need this much help for my tummy tuck, this is like a whole new ball game for us. So it's been funny, um, especially just the little things like him trying to put my hair up and stuff and me explaining to him like how to make coffee and what buttons to press and stuff like that because I like can't do anything. Um, so yeah, so basically uh, I'm just in this recliner. I've slept here the last two nights. I anticipate sleeping here a couple more nights um, just because we only have a queen bed and like we can't fit these mountains of pillows next to me while Jared also sleeps in the bed. Um, so until I don't need to keep them elevated, I think I'm stuck in the chair. Uh, but other than that, I should be able to shower on Tuesday, the day after I get the drains out. And yeah, my appetite is slowly returning. I had avocado toast today, which is very exciting. Um, other than that, the first like day or so after surgery, I just had like protein cookies, protein shakes, and green juice. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions so far, leave them below. I probably won't do another update until I'm at least like one week post-op just because like this is difficult. Um, but yeah, so far so good. And uh, leave any questions below. Okay, bye.